Alrighty then. Um, so I got a question here for anybody who wants to pipe in. Um, before I flip the boat, I really am supposed to deal with that intake ring. Um, now this has all been mounted up before. I haven't changed anything. Um, the plan, last time I recall, was to get rid of these pads that the the engine um, sits on inside the jet ski originally which have mounts that go in there, rubber mounts, hard rubber mounts and to try and raise that now to raise that I'm probably going to have to manufacture something because I've already got it raised a little bit above where it's supposed to be um, and where it needs to be to weld it in well so you know, I'm thinking about it, and the reason they said, well, you don't want to, you don't want it sitting on those is because, you know, if you bend the bottom of the boat, it'll move the engine out of position. And, you know, my thoughts on that are just simply that, you know, it's three-eighths aluminum, um, you know, and harder aluminum. It's not the softest, at least. So, you know, I'm looking at it going, well... If, if you hit something that hard, especially with the UHMW on the bottom, um, and the and the engine moves, you know how much is it really going to move? I mean, you're not, you're not going to dent that thing an inch, you know. So if, say you move it an eighth of an inch, you know, obviously it throws off your coupler alignment, and you have you have a problem. But it seems to me like you're going to know when you hit something that hard, you know, and you can obviously keep an eye on that. Um, you know, things are set up pretty well right now. I've, I've still got to figure out what I'm doing on the transom for the trim control and all that stuff. But, you know, if I'm going to change this, I probably have to do that next. So, um, you know, before I flip the boat, you know, and, and weld whatever I'm welding in. So I'm a little bit on the fence on that. Um, I'm really close to being ready to flip the boat otherwise. Um, but right now I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do it the way I had planned. Um, you know, and I can always add cross brace, you know, on the front of the engine going across. Thick, heavy cross brace. I can always pull a little bit of the tension off of those bottom um, mounts, you know, when I, when I build the carriage or the brackets for the engine mounts to sit on, on the other four mounts so it doesn't have to be tight on the bottom um, but it can still be there to be able to stabilize it because the other mounts are essentially stabilizers they're a lot softer rubber I was never really comfortable just hanging it on those I thought well if those are going to be your your only engine mounts the original design is to sit on the bottom mounts and to stabilize with the, with the outside ones so unless you have another an alternative hard rubber mount for the other four which are fairly small you know it just doesn't seem like a very good mounting but I've been told you know gotta get it off the bottom you know only supported by the other four which is gonna be more weight on those than there normally would be because normally when I pulled it out of the jet ski there wasn't really hardly any weight on those it was all on the bottom too so if I'm gonna try and keep the factory mounting essentially that means raising those up you know but you have to give yourself whatever clearance you think would be a problem if you ever bang the boat I mean if you if you dent the thing right there I don't know that's I'm sure it can happen you know maybe it's happened to other people you've got a lot of support around that and you've got pretty thick metal so I don't know I'm just uh, going to figure it out shortly, but if anybody has any ideas or any experience, it would be great. Um, let me know in the comments. Thanks.